it comes to fucking up your own children, I'm in the camp of you do you, mate. They're the ones that'll be choosing your care home when you're old and infirm, so you play those cards however you want. But when you sit down and have a little chat about how to talk to the police and then post it on the internet like you aren't scaring your kids into a quivering mess, well, that's when I have something to say. And today is just such an occasion, as WatchCut finds yet another way of messing with many a young mind by teaching the new generation that the police aren't your friends and will arrest you if you're black. Let's have a look. We actually have a line that we do at our house. Teaching your kids how to snort cocaine, eh? Fair play. Girls gonna have to learn sometime. We practice this thing. What is it? I'm Ariel Sky Williams. You just doxed yourself, but whatever. I'm eight years old. I'm unarmed and I have nothing that will hurt you. Well done, Ariel, even if you are named after a white mermaid. So it's important for a young black child to announce they're both eight years old and unarmed. Now, I think this is more about the father's politics than the police shooting eight-year-old kids, but shit, you want to teach your offspring to be nervous around the authorities, or as they see it, acting suspiciously, you carry on. It's just kind of a thing we practice at our house. You actually practice that? Damn, kid must be dense if she didn't get it right the first time. And what happened to playing games at your house? Why practice how you respond to the police when you could be playing the black version of Monopoly? That that's the one where every square says go to jail. I love how it specifies black parents explaining, because white parents are just like, don't be a dick to them and you'll probably be alright. Or even better, don't get in trouble with the fucking police. That would be a way better lesson to teach here. There are great police officers out there. There's also some police officers who are not so good. But they do all have the job of upholding the law and have peers, protocols and superiors to ensure they can't lock someone up for no fucking reason. Unless you're in the UK, in which case, let's hear it for the anti-terror laws that are being used on everyone but the fucking terrorists. And my fear is that you run across one of those bad ones. One of those cops who shoots people for no reason, yeah? I'm sure this simple explanation will stop that cop from filling you full of holes then. I mean, the dude is seemingly doing it because of skin colour and nothing else, so stating you're unarmed isn't gonna do shit. But listen to your mum, she'll sort it out. For some reason, people of colour have always been a target by the police. It could be all the crimes, my man. When 52% of homicides between 1980 and 2008 were committed by the 12 to 13% of black people in America, maybe you should be having a word with your community instead of teaching your kids she's a target because of her skin. Just saying. Before they became a policeman, they were a person. The police aren't people. Excellent lesson, lady. They don't feel pain and can only walk sideways like crabs. Look, can we get an actual cop in here to talk to them? That would be way better than this dickhead. And that person took all their ideas and all their thoughts and all their prejudice into their job. Ah, so you acknowledge it is a job then, not some kind of irreversible transformation. It's a job, yes, a job where you deal with danger on a daily basis and in some cases lay down your life to keep other people safe, but they also want to kill you because that's just the kind of people they are, or used to be. They're not people anymore, right? Why, why would a police officer assume that you did something bad? Oh, loads of reasons. Because you were at the scene of a crime, you match the description of the perpetrator, you're carrying stolen goods, or you're just acting like it. And that's going to be the reason once this life lesson sets in. You're a victim, Shaniqua. Learn that now. I know you have your whole life ahead of you, and the world is a very different place than the one your mum grew up in, but you're a fucking victim, okay? Come on, just say because of your skin colour. I'm pretty sure that's the answer she's looking for. Maybe because of my skin colour. Fantastic, well done. The victimhood is coming along nicely in this one. Get them while they're young, right? Aw, oh, she's so proud. Well done, Mum. You made your kid cry because she, or he, I've been stung before, is now terrified of the police because of the colour of her skin. Top parenting, well done. You should write a book. I remember being put in handcuffs. We're not talking about how your child was conceived, man. Stick to the topic. For something that had nothing to do with me, I was literally walking in the mall. I'm glad you said literally. Otherwise, you could have been metaphysically walking in the mall, and that is illegal. Cops slammed me on the ground, busted my lip chip my tooth. That actually made me really mad. Yeah, being accused of a crime you didn't commit, that was fine, but the tooth? That's where you draw the fucking line. Not sure about the old US legal system, but sustaining an injury during a wrongful arrest sounds like a lawsuit. How about the time they pulled us over with me in the car and arrested me? 
You don't get arrested for no reason. You might get stopped or pulled over for no reason. That happens to white people too, you know. I've seen it happen a lot. I guess the 5-0 just get bored sometimes. So if you were arrested, I reckon it's because you got a bit fucking leery, you know. I've seen that happen too. That's a losing battle, that is. You always know you've lost when you use the line, my taxes pay your wages. That's when you're done and left all of you guys sitting in the car and nobody knew how to drive on the side of the road. Damn, they left a car full of kids to starve to death, unattended at the side of the road, all because of the colour of their skin? Shut the fuck up. They don't even do that in North Korea. In a world where people get their dicks out for a fucking gorilla, that would be global news. You weren't arrested. You were detained in the vehicle that stopped you. It's not the same. Because the bumper on the car was kind of hanging off. Why did you use finger quotes for the word bumper? Is the bumper not real? Is it metaphysical? Because as we've gone over, that's illegal. You don't fuck with time and space. No. You know we live in Piala. There's people that don't even have a bumper on their car. Well, I don't even have a car, so I really do get pulled over for no reason. Here's what I think happened. She got stopped because her rear bumper was hanging. The officer let her know or gave her a fine, depending on how buggered the bumper was. And she kicked off. Going on about how it's because she's black or some shit. And I don't say this because of the whole big sassy black lady stereotype. I say it because she's currently teaching these kids that they are targets. My rear brake light wasn't working. That's someone else with the finger quotes. What the fuck is going on? Is it like dabbing or something? Have I missed a trend? And I got to my destination and they were working. Okay, you got pulled over for a faulty brake light when there wasn't one. I can believe that. I wouldn't make my kid cry over it like you did, but I can believe it. I was about your age. Actually, they grabbed me. Why? I didn't know at the time. They just grabbed me. Oh, great. So we're not even teaching them how to deal with the police. We're actually just scaring the shit out of them. People are just going to grab you. There's nothing you can do. But what if I'm honest and respectful? Doesn't matter. You're black. They hate you. They threw me onto the police car. I got tased that time. That time? How many? I mean, come on, man. There comes a point when it just sounds like you used to do a lot of illegal shit. Just pick your favorite and tell that one. That time they tased me because they said I wasn't complying. Ariel, are you okay? No, she's not okay, you dick nozzle. You've just told your young daughter at least two stories of you getting arrested for the sake of a fucking YouTube video. She isn't upset about your tales of injustice. She's upset because she just realized she has a fucking shit dad. <laughs> What's wrong, baby? I always find that shit funny. The noise they make in that initial breakdown. I mean, it varies from child to child, but it always makes me laugh. One of my cousins, when he was little and was about to cry, made a noise a lot like a train going through a tunnel. Fucking slayed me. <laughs> I bet a lot of people who watched this were like, oh, he's such a good father. Motherfucker, he did this. This is the guy who was boasting about what they practice in their house. So he's already taught her that. She knows what to say. The lessons learned. But he told her these things anyway to scare her for the camera. What a cunt. I'm okay. I'm alive. All right. Every day I get to see you. I get to do this, right? All right, come on. Let's calm down. Let's finish this, all right? Well, shit, that was quick. Maybe he's a good father after all. Or he told her if she didn't sit down, he'd call the police. I bet she was on that chair like a fucking greyhound with the stories he's been telling. You good? Hey, you make me cry. Come on. You have to be careful. Hold on, lady. That was it. The whole point was to show the kid crying. Fuck you, watch cut. Fucking watch cunt. For when you're out there in this world, because this world's not going to always be honest or fair to you. Well, that's sound advice, no matter what the color of your skin. I know, Sean, you got a little bit lighter than the rest of them, so it's a possibility you won't get stopped. And she ruined it. Sound like you just pulled them over. Okay. Just if you were down. driving... Cop pulls you over. We're gonna pretend the people with horror stories about the cops are the cops. Yeah, this should be fine. Police gets out of the car, comes to the window. T -t 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 -t. What would you do? Roll the fucking window down. License and registration, please, ma'am. That's not... You can't mime your identification with a police officer. They will see through that right away. They're trained for that kind of thing. Why do you think I pulled you over? I don't know, tell me. When a police officer says something to you, don't, don't, you're black. You can't be looking at them saying, oh, I don't know, why don't you tell me? Bitch, that's not about being black. It's about not making a bad situation worse, you 70-year-old fuck up. Well, I mean, that right there is giving them, to them, the license to pull you out of your car 
and shoot you. They will shoot you. Physically harm you because it will be done. Don't get upset. Don't get sassy. Why did you pull me over? You don't have, I'm no, ha this, just follow instructions and stay calm. Okay. Well, that's the same for everyone. No one enjoys getting pulled over, you fucking psycho woman. Do you think just being a police officer and pulling you over, regardless of if you feel you've done something or not, they should get your respect? Well, yeah. I mean, you'd respect a doctor because of the lab coat and stethoscope, but none of that matters when you're teaching fear. That's a tricky question. Is it? I mean, it's an earned position. You can't just stroll into a station and say, I want to be a police. I mean, you can, but it won't make you a police. The answer is yes. Yes. If you got to go to your wallet to get your ID, say, can I go reach in my back pocket to get my ID out? Ah, don't worry about that. They'll find it when they search you. You could do what I do and I show them my hands. So when they're walking up, they see I don't have anything in my hands. Yeah, but you're also acting really fucking weird. I'm Errol Sky Williams and I have nothing that will harm, harm you or hurt you. And what's the next place you put your hands when you're driving? or on the steering wheel with your hands out. Oh, because she's gonna be driving very fucking soon, isn't she? Tell her all about how a black person should act when they get pulled over while driving when you're still telling her Santa's real. Fucking fantastic. If at all possible, turn on, your phone on. on. And call someone and put it on speaker. Phone a fucking fret. Do you think this is who wants to be a millionaire, mate? Is this your vehicle, sir? Uh, I'll use my 50-50. But whatever you're doing, I want you to say what you're doing before you do it. You don't write any statements. Well, you have to write a statement. You don't have to write anything. You're a minor. I'm responsible for you. No one can tell you anything else. Yeah, fantastic. So if there does come a time when he needs the police, will he call them or will he be too scared of them? If he tells you to be quiet, be quiet, do everything that you can to get back to me. Woman, you're talking about a what if, not a trip to Mount fucking Doom. You're going to upset the kid. You watch. I see it uh, weighing on you and I don't want it to weigh on you. So then don't tell her this shit. You, oh my fucking. I'm just worried about Donovan. There we go. Upset. Thank you. Fuck Donovan. I'm worried about him now. Who are you guys talking about? Her, 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 my nephew and her cousin. I don't want him to be shot. I don't want him to go to jail. Honestly, man, they should have named this video Parents Make Their Children Cry Because Black. Um, you guys, if you could say anything to please, what would you say? Learn about people. Learn about their problems. Take some diversity training. I mean, it should be like an every, at this point, like a monthly requirement. You must be fucking kidding. You want them to have diversity training every month? Could that be time better spent, I don't know, doing their fucking job? What do you think that would even do? Just annoy them into being like, all right, I'll stop being racist. Fine. It's not going to happen. You know, there's really nothing at this point that they could do that would make me feel any safer with them without them just point blank, clearing them all out, and starting all over from scratch. Holy shit, that's even worse. I'll take the monthly diversity training. Fuck it, that's a lot less hassle. So don't always assume that all of them are bad. Mm -hmm. Eh? That other bitch said get rid of all of them and start over. What is the actual message we're trying to get across here? Besides, some people clearly don't like their kids. But, uh, all, but, I, but all you see on the news and in newspapers, and it keeps happening. It's just in a different way. It's like how people are like, you should forgive so-and-so, but they keep doing it to me. I, forget, I forgave them, but they keep doing it to me. It's, it gets harder and harder to forgive them. Yeah, I agree with what you're saying when it comes to individuals. Replace police with black people and you'll see why it's a bad idea to judge people collectively. But let's see what Mama has to say about that, shall we? Wow. Wow is the right word, lady. Well done. You've successfully turned your child against the police. The people that arrive for a morning briefing consisting of, if you see a black person, arrest them because they're probably doing something bad. I mean, that's how the law works, isn't it? I'm not saying some of them don't abuse it. Of course they do. I've met more than my fair share of cunt-headed police officers. Power just gets to some people, I guess. But that isn't handed down from cop to cop like the gift of abject terror these pricks just gave their children. Thanks for watching, guys. Please consider becoming a patron so I can raise the money for bail. The link is in the description. And remember, if you get arrested, just stay calm, be respectful, and don't be black.